What's up, guys? This is Webby, and this is your No Mercy Preview and Predictions. And you know, I really have to give WWE a round of applause. And you know, that's unusual. But for this SmackDown pay-per-view, SmackDown and WWE, I think, deserves one. Because... All the storylines leading up to this pay-per-view have been a good build. They all make sense. And they have all led to the pay-per-view, what we've seen on SmackDown. So I really think they deserve one, really. I think they deserve that credit. And what happened on SmackDown this past week I think might lead up to this Sunday's pay-per-view. Two matches that might be on. Jack Swagger versus Baron Corbin. I do believe that might be on simply because of what happened on SmackDown. When he looked like he was reaching for the ropes, Baron Corbin was. And... The referee decided that he thought he was tapping out, so he rung the bell and Jack Swagger got the win. Well, I think that's probably going to lead to another match, and it might be on the pay-per-view. Whether it's on the pre-show or on the main card, that might be on it. Another match that might be on, I'm not sure, but I could possibly see it, you know, you never know, it might, is uh, the extension versus the hype bros, they had to stare down, you know, that could be a pre-show or it could be a main card match, they just flopped together to add some more matches to the show, you know, I don't know, you know, just to build up the show some, uh, kind of a filler, but I could see that happening. Kurt Hawkins debut. This, honestly, does anybody care about? I know I really don't care about this uh, this match because this match, his promos really have not gotten me invested in him. This is the one thing I will say: promos he's done. Really did not get me invested in him at all. So I don't care about his debut. He better show me something as debut. So that's about all I can say about him. Nikki Bella versus Carmella. This is one feud and rivalry I am invested in. Because Nikki Bella came back and she is putting over the talent. She has not been burying the talent and winning each week. Carmella has been getting the upper hand each and every week. Now, do I think that Nikki Bella is going to pick up the victory here? More than likely, yes. Because Nikki Bella, I don't think, has even picked up the victory, really, since she came back. So I think it's time for Nikki Bella to pick up the victory. I think it might be at no mercy. Will it happen? Remains to be seen. Nikki Bella might actually... Let Carmella, you know, win again. But Nikki Bella, I think it's time for her to pick up the victory. And she might get her revenge on Carmella. The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler. This matchup, actually, I would have to say, is the match that everybody is probably the most invested in. And, you know, I hope Dolph Ziggler is not done. I hope he's not done. I hope he takes away the Intercontinental Championship from The Miz. The Miz does not need the Intercontinental Championship. The Miz is the best person on the mic right now besides AJ Styles, I think, on SmackDown. AJ Styles, Ray Wyatt, and The Miz are the three best on the mic right now. And The Miz... Does not need the Intercontinental Championship. He's not doing anything for that Intercontinental Championship. And The Miz can continue to do what he's doing without the IC strap. Dolph Ziggler will do great work for that Intercontinental Championship 
wrestling wise. Put out great wrestling matches, and that's what the Intercontinental Championship deserves. The Miz does not bring that kind of prestige to it. So I hope Dolph Ziggler wins this matchup. Great talent. He's not utilized properly. He has been since he got brought to SmackDown. He's been utilized a lot better. He has still lost, but he's been getting a lot more TV time. And I like that he's been getting a lot more TV time. And Dolph Ziggler, I just hope he stays because he's a great talent. And that's a big, huge gap for SmackDown, I do believe. Will he win? This is a toss-up, so we have to just have to wait to see what happens this Sunday. Alexa Bliss versus Becky Lynch. This is a match for Becky Lynch in the win column. Becky Lynch will retain the SmackDown Women's Championship. Guarantee it. She lost on SmackDown to Alexa Bliss. She's not losing her championship after she just won it at Backlash. It ain't happening. He's Slater and Rhino versus the Usos for the Tag Team Championship. The Usos will walk away with the Tag Team Championship. He Slater and Rhino simply captured the Tag Team titles just to give He Slater a contract. That's it. There's too much storytelling and too much of a rivalry going on with the Usos and American Alpha. They're building up the Usos too much for them not to capture the Tag Team Championship. First time ever in a long time, people are actually liking the Usos a lot. It took them being hills for people to start liking them a lot again. Usos are walking away with those Tag Team Championship, and the American Alpha is going to chase them. Ray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. This is another win for Randy Orton and another loss for Bray Wyatt because they don't know what to do with Bray Wyatt. Simple as that. Randy Orton will pick up the victory because it's rumored that AJ Styles' next opponent will be Randy Orton. And if Randy Orton is AJ Styles' next opponent, there's no way he's losing at no mercy. Absolutely none. And plus, they don't know what to do with Bray Wyatt anyway, so that he'll just get another loss. So, that's pretty much that. AJ Styles versus John Cena versus Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose will lose. John Cena will lose. And everybody will be able to say, they don't want none. They don't want none. They don't want none because AJ Styles will pick up the victory and retain his WWE Championship. I guarantee it. John Cena is going off to make another TV show. Dean Ambrose is requesting time off. And AJ Styles really is the best wrestler and really is the face that runs the place right now. He just captured the... WWE Championship, and he's not going to drop it. This is all leading to John Cena versus AJ Styles in a one-on-one -on -one match, and John Cena capturing the championship. So, AJ Styles will win. And that is No Mercy. This coming Sunday, I'm actually looking forward to it. WWE has done a good job building this pay-per-view up and getting us invested, I do believe. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you think that you're invested in it or if you're not invested in it. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Webby at 2007 Webby. Facebook, Webby at 2007 Webby. Catch me Saturday night for my UFC 204 review. And until I see you then, this is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.